Okay, so let's start with the JDM SLX DC. As you can see by this video footage and pictures, the JDM SLX DC has a different paint scheme and styling details compared to our American market reels, and it's pretty much in line with the styling of the SLX MGL. Now, no big surprise here. I think the JDM SLX DC looks better than the American version. And I think that's because Japan still recognizes that its home market is still their most important. So that means they went with the dark silver gray color for the side plates and the understated black SLX DC logo that's kind of hard to see unless you turn the reel a certain way. So basically this reel will appeal to anyone who wants an SLX DC but doesn't like the bright blue graphics of the American version. And as you can also see, the JDM version gets the much needed chrome end caps that our American market reel should have had to begin with. And they are the new design as well. But if you're thinking that this SLX DC is just an American market reel with better styling, then you'd be wrong. Now true to form, Shimano Japan gave their home market reel some changes to make it perform better than the American market reel. The most noticeable performance change visually is going to be that spool. Now it's still blue in color, but as you can see they decreased the line capacity of the spool the same way they did with the Scorpion DC by narrowing the channel where the line lays. In fact, they classify this reel as a 70 capacity reel now versus the 150 capacity reel of the American market SLX DC. Also, there appears to be no single hole drilled into the spool like our American market SLX and Corrado DC reels. There's only a little dimple there right now. Now, I'm going to theorize that they probably lightened this spool significantly as well. And when you combine that with the decrease in line capacity, this JDM SLX DC has the potential to be a very, very long bomber. And that's actually proven in this casting footage where Takuma Hata is casting this lipless crankbait over 100 yards measured. Now keep in mind, this is an actual lure, not a casting plug. Now the spool capacity may not be the only thing they changed to improve casting ability. It looks like Shimano Japan may have given their SLX DC a different IDC4 programming. Now instead of line modes, it looks like they're just saying the numbers on the DC brake dial just increase or decrease the braking strength. So they're not saying that you have to use a certain line with a certain mode. I'm assuming you can use any line in any mode and it should work fine. But either way, they are touting the SLX DC will cast long with little to no backlash. And as you can see here, Takuma Hata is showing us that he doesn't even have to stop the spool when the lure hits the water using different types of lures.
and he even casts Blindfolded to prove that point. Now I would find that more impressive if he showed us the spool tension settings and I'm thinking it's set pretty tight for this video. Now whether the DC tune on the JDM models is truly different, well only the Shimano engineers will know and I may be tempted to get one just to find out. And that's because if you watch my SLX and Corrado DC videos, the overrun control on those reels is very subpar compared to the rest of my DC reels. And you really have to tweak the spool tension knob, particularly in braid mono mode, to get the best backlash control results. So maybe Shimano Japan recognized this and made some changes to their IDC4 unit. Now the reel will have an extra two ball bearings versus the American market version. So that's gonna be six plus one. And when I check the street price on Digitaka, it will be a little bit more expensive as well. It is listed at around $211. So about 20 more than the American market version. Now keep in mind the prices will vary from vendor to vendor. And Digitaka is the only shop that has it listed right now for pre-order. Now Shimano Japan lists on their website that the right hand versions will come out sometime in February while the left hand versions will come out sometime in April if you are wanting to get one. Now the question is will I get one of these reels to try? So right now I'm about 50-50 on it. Now my heart says to get one but my brain and my bank account says that it's just a repainted American model with less line capacity. Now if I do get one, of course, I will share that with you guys. <laughs> 